Welcome to episode 1644, we show your Anchor King from Singapore, 8 Lessons. This is an outline of episode 1644, lesson 1 to 4, it's lesson 5 to 8. Lesson 1 is a refugee immigrant. He first moved from Taiwan to Tuching, born in 1929 in Keman Island, Taiwan. This is a picture of his parents. When he was seven years old, his father moved him to Kuching, Sarawak, Malaya, and came the Japanese invasion. And two is a high school dropout. 1949, a 20-year-old we follow his father's order to quit high school. Lesson three, three generations of bankers. Overseas Bank was founded by Wong Kik Chiang in 1935. There is a saying that wealth rarely survives the third generation. But we each young, the third generation of the Wee family to have led United Overseas Bank, has bucked this trend. Lesson four, grow by borrowing. In 70, he led United Overseas Bank IPO to become Singapore's first publicly traded bank. Lesson 5. Grow by Acquisitions Controlled by billionaire Wee Choya, has agreed to acquire Citigroup's consumer banking business across Indonesia, Malaysia, Thailand and Vietnam as the Singapore lender accelerates expansion across Southeast Asia. The purchase consideration is about 4 Singapore dollars. 9 billion. 3 dollars. 6 billion. Lesson 6, he's a pioneer in overseas banking. Five franchise across 500 locations in 19 countries. Another important milestone. In 1985, United Overseas Bank opened its first Beijing branch. Lesson 7, building tomorrow's digital bank. The digital bank opportunity several years ago. In fact, we were the first bank in the region to develop a new business model focused on customer engagement. This was how tomorrow, ASEAN's first digital bank was launched in Thailand two years ago. We built tomorrow with an AI-driven digital engagement engine that uses transaction data in real time to help us anticipate and serve relevant insights and solutions to our customers. A transforming for the future. The bank's legacy gives us strength, but it also comes with a heavy responsibility. As a steward, I'm entrusted with building on a successful business. To do so, I must strike a balance between preserving our heritage and transforming for the future. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, leave your questions and comments below. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.